हेलो एवरी वन माई नेम इज मिनी सेठी आई होप यू ऑल आर स्टेइंग हेल्दी टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट मीनिंग फॉर्मूला डायग्राम एंड फैक्टर इफेक्टिंग मार्जिनल एफिशियंसी ऑफ कैपिटल सो वॉट इज मार्जिनल एफिशियंसी ऑफ कैपिटल इन वेरी सिंपल टर्म वी कैन से दैट मार्जिनल एफिशियंसी ऑफ कैपिटल इज परसेंटेज ऑफ प्रोफिट दैट वी एक्सपेक्ट फ्रॉम न्यू इन्वेस्टमेंट मार्जिनल एफिशियंसी ऑफ कैपिटल इज परसेंटेज ऑफ प्रोफिट दैट वी एक्सपेक्ट expect from new investment so in order to clearly understand margin efficiency of capital we need to understand what is prospective yield and what is supply price one by one we discuss about each what is prospective yield prospective yield is total expected return from the asset during its whole life prospective yield is total expected return from the asset during its whole life whenever you buy any asset you expect some Some income from it, you expect some return from it. For example, you buy a machine at the rate of ten thousand, and lifespan of machine is three years. First year you expect to get return from this machine is eight thousand. Second year you expect to get three thousand, and third year you expect to get two thousand. And lifespan of machine is three years. When you add all three years return, it will call prospective yield. Means thirteen thousand is your prospective yield from this machine. so we can say that prospective yield is total expected return from the asset during its whole life now we will see what is supply price supply price is cost of producing or buying new asset supply price is cost of producing or buying new asset note the price of existing asset means in case of supply price we do not include price of existing asset we only include price or we can say that we only include cost of producing or buying new asset so as we know prospective yield is expected income which we expect from new investment and supply price is cost cost of producing new asset and keynes gave different concept of marginal efficiency of capital according to keynes marginal efficiency of capital is a rate of discount which make prospective yield just equal to supply price or we can say that according to keynes marginal efficiency of capital is a rate of discount which make expected income just equal to cost don't be confused we will clearly understand this concept with the help of one example so So our example is here. Suppose we buy one machine and supply price of machine is three thousand and lifespan of machine is two year. And first year we expect to receive income from this machine is one thousand one hundred. And second year we expect to receive income from this machine is two thousand four hundred twenty. Our two years expected income is basically our prospective yield as we earlier discussed. So our supply price three thousand. And when we add two years expected income, it become equal to three thousand five hundred twenty. This three thousand five hundred twenty is basically our prospective yield. You can see here our prospective yield is more than supply price and according to keynes uh, margin efficiency of capital is a rate of discount which make prospective yield just equal to supply price so how margin efficiency of capital make prospective yield and supply price just equal to each other we can know this by using one formula and our formula is sp equal to r1 over 1 plus i plus r2 over 1 plus i is power 2 plus r3 over 1 plus i is power 3 Plus R four over one plus I is power four till R n. So here S P is our supply price. R one is expected return, or we can say the expected income is first year. R two expected return, or we can say the expected income in second year. R three expected return in third year. R four expected return in fourth year till R n. When we add all years return, it will become our prospective yield as we earlier discussed. So we will. Continue with our previous example where we bought one machine and supply price of machine is three thousand and first year we expect to receive income from this machine is one thousand one hundred and second year we expect to receive income from this machine is two thousand four hundred twenty. When we add two years expected income, it become equal to three thousand five hundred twenty and three thousand five hundred twenty is our prospective yield and our supply price is three thousand. You can see our prospective yield is more than from Our supply price. So lifespan of machine is two years. So what is I in this formula? I is basically rate 
रेट ऑफ डिस्काउंट और वी कैन से आई इज मार्जिन एफिशियंसी ऑफ कैपिटल हेयर वी एज्यूम अवर मार्जिन एफिशियंसी ऑफ कैपिटल इज टेन परसेंट Now we will put the value of each variable in this formula. Our SP or we can say that our supply price is three thousand. That's why we put three thousand in place of SP. Our R one or we can say that our first year expected return is one thousand one hundred. That's why we put one thousand one hundred in place of R one. Our second year return or we can say that our R two is two two thousand four hundred twenty. That That's why we put two thousand four hundred twenty in place of R two. Here we take only two year expected return because life span of our machine here we assume is two years, and I is basically our margin efficiency of capital, or we can say the I is our discounting rate. And here we assume our discounting rate or margin efficiency of capital is ten percent. That's why we wrote ten percent in place of I. And when we solve one thousand one hundred over one point one One zero, it become equal to one thousand, and when we solve two thousand four hundred twenty over one point one zero power two, it will become equal to two thousand. You can solve it, and one thousand is expected income in first year, two thousand is expected income in second year. When we add two years expected income, it will become equal to three thousand. Three thousand is our prospective yield, and our supply price also is three thousand. You can see supply price now become equal. Equal to prospective yield. Earlier, our prospective yield was more than supply price, but but when we applied 10% discounting rate, it become equal to prospective yield. So this 10% is basically our margin efficiency of capital, and after applying 10% discounting rate, our prospective yield become equal to supply price. So we can say that the margin efficiency of capital is a discounting rate which make prospective yield just equal to supply price. Now. we are going to talk about factors affecting margin efficiency of capital firstly we are going to talk about short run factors that affect margin efficiency of capital first short run factor is size of market if size of market is big means demand for product is high if demand for product is high means producer expectation about profit is high if producer expectation about profit is high means margin efficiency of capital is high as we earlier discussed margin efficiency of capital is percentage of profit that we expect from new investment second short term factor is future expectation about price and cost if producer think in future price of product will fall and cost of product will increase as a result their expectation about profit will fall obviously if pro cost of his product is increasing and price of his product is falling his expectation about profit will also fall if his expectation about profit fall means his msc will also msc mean margin efficiency of capital will also fall next is propensity to consume if consumption increase as a result demand increase if demand Demand increase means producer expectation about profit increase. If producer expectation about profit increase, as a result, our margin efficiency of capital will also increase. Next short run factor is level of income. If income in economy is increasing, means demand increasing. If demand increasing means the producer expectation about profit increasing. If producer expectation about profit increasing means margin efficiency of capital increasing. Next short run factor is level of confidence. If producer are very optimistic, then their expectation about Profit will high. As a result, margin efficiency of capital will also high. If they are very pessimistic, then their expectation about profit will low. As a result, margin efficiency of capital will also low. Now we are going to talk about some long term factor that affect our margin efficiency of capital. First long run factor is population size. If population is increasing, means demand increasing. If demand increasing, means producer expectation about profit increasing. If producer expectation increasing, means margin efficiency of capital increasing. Next long term factor is nature of economy. If economy is capitalistic, then margin efficiency of profit will high. As we know, capitalistic economy is run by private sector, and private sector want more. More profit. Next long term factor is invention. If there is more invention, there is more discovery. Means expectation about profit will high. If expectation about profit will high, means margin efficiency of capital will also high. 
नाउ वी विल सी रिलेशन बिटवीन इन्वेस्टमेंट एंड मार्जिनल एफिशिएंसी ऑफ कैपिटल इन्वेस्टमेंट एंड मार्जिनल एफिशिएंसी ऑफ कैपिटल हैव अ इनवर्स रिलेशन इफ वी आर कंटिन्यू इन्वेस्टिंग इन वन टाइप ऑफ प्रोजेक्ट देन आफ्टर अ सर्टेन टाइम पीरियड आवर प्रॉफिट विल फॉल मींस आवर मार्जिन एफिशिएंसी ऑफ कैपिटल विल फॉल बिकॉज़ ऑफ लॉ ऑफ डिमिनिशिंग रिटर्न सो वी कैन से दैट इन्वेस्टमेंट एंड मार्जिनल एफिशिएंसी ऑफ कैपिटल हैव अ इनवर्स रिलेशन इन दिस टेबल यू कैन सी इन फर्स्ट कॉलम वी हैव इन्वेस्टमेंट एंड सेकंड कॉलम वी हैव मार्जिनल एफिशिएंसी ऑफ capital as investment increasing our margin efficiency of capital is falling in this diagram you can see on x axis we have investment and y axis we have margin efficiency of capital when investment is oi margin efficiency of capital is om as investment increase oi to oi1 our margin efficiency of capital fall from om to om1 so we can say that investment and margin efficiency of capital have a inverse relation this mec our margin efficiency curve so this is all about meaning formula diagram and factor affecting margin efficiency of capital i think you got it and thank you so much for watching this video bye take care